Hi, I'm Michelle. My background is in pediatric nursing. The theory that I chose is Catherine Kokaba's comfort theory. It is considered a middle age theory and it focuses on comfort as an immediate desirable outcome of nursing care. Um, according to Kokaba, um, comfort is the immediate state of being strengthened through having the human needs for relief, ease, and transcendence addressed in four contexts of experience. The, these would be considered physical, psycho-spiritual, socio-cultural, and environmental. Um, comfort is a positive outcome that has been linked empirically to successful engagement in health-seeking behaviors. And it's essentially positive institutional-wise um, for better outcomes of patient care. And Kokaba also describes comfort as existing, like I said previously, in three forms. It's relief, ease, and transcendence. With relief, it's the state of having a comfort mitigated or alleviated, such as pain, you know, pain relief measures like medication, different position changes, things like that. Ease is the absence of specific discomforts. This can be, you know, ease in stressful situations, things like that. Transcendence Transcendence um, is the ability to rise above discomforts when they cannot be eradicated or avoided. So an example of this would be when a child feels confident about ambulation, even though they know it'll, you know, exert pain. So with the comfort theory, the four meta paradigms of nursing, they're intertwined, they're pretty much mixed together. In relation to the human being or the person, this would be the patient, of course, because they are who is receiving the care that we are providing. And this can also include their family members and their caregivers. And with children, it could also include their peers, their friends, anyone involved in the support system. Um, an assessment of the patient should be done in a considerate and comfortable way as the nurse addresses concerns and needs of the patient. And with this, we're looking at health as an overall optimal functioning. So in order to achieve this, the nurse must facilitate a supportive environment for recovery. And this includes the assessment of their comfort level and any concerns that they may have. In relation to the comfort theory, environmental needs may include orderliness, quiet, comfortable furniture, um, you know, dim lights, safety measures, anything surrounding them in the pediatric setting. And this can also include attention, as children do require quite a bit of attention. Um, nurses are also considered coach coaches in the pediatric setting. They assure the family and the child that he or she can recover, they're safe, and they're protected. And this goes to the family members as well, of course. Um, I think this theory fits into pediatrics because children come in with a lot of uncertainty. They have a lot of fears, and especially with the pediatric patients, those that are younger, they have many fears when it comes to hospitals and nurses and the big machines and the IV and the beeping pumps and a lot of things that just in the environment. So patients and their family members need to be, you know, at ease in these stressful situations. So that's where the comfort theory can come in. Um, the nurse-patient relationship needs to be formed so the child can be trusting of the nurse and made comfortable. And they need us to kind of be on their level and explain things in a way that they can understand. Many times they may not be truly in pain. It could just be something uncomfortable or something they're just not used to dealing with. And so understanding what's really going on with the patient will ultimately resolve them and put them at ease. So as far as interventions go, there are a lot of written protocols already in place for pain relief, and it's not really directed to the comfort of the child. Um, but there is, you know, interesting points in literature about some strategies such as positioning comfort or um, facilitating with self-comfort habits like thumb sucking or having their blanket or a pacifier or even rocking them. Um, and this can be re in relation to invasive procedures like starting an IV. And um, one of the articles I read there was a framework that also suggested that administrators take on a culture of comfort. So with this, this can be implemented into the assessment 
um, by addressing comfort in the initial assessment that we do with the patient.